In today's tutorial, I'll walk you through the process of adding a sleek login and registration form right into the header section of your WordPress site. So without wasting a single minute, let's get started. Before moving ahead with the project, let's make sure everything in the backend is set up for smooth operations. Quickly move to the plugin section. Here as visible, I have two plugins installed and activated. The first one is Elementor and the second one is the plus add-ons as well as its pro version. Next come here to appearance, click on themes. And just as we mentioned a while ago, this is the next theme we'll be making use of. After that, navigate to plus settings. Click on plus widgets. Here make sure this checkbox saying enable all is checked. Once that's done, click on save. Now that we've installed the plugins and theme, let's take a quick design overview. Focus your attention on the account login button in the header section. This is the login feature we'll be creating today. By the end of this video, you'll be able to design a login form just like this one. Now let's look at the difference between the logged in and non logged in views of the website. As you can see, when a user is logged in, there are additional options available in the header. Whereas if we come back here in the non logged in view, the account login button is prominent. Now taking you back in the element or editor. Now quickly open the navigator and let me select the login widget. Here before moving ahead with its customization options, let me tell you that this login and register widget is just one out of the 120 plus widgets offered by the plus add-ons for Elementor. It is designed to bring modern and highly customizable features to your website. Literally if I say sky is the limit if you sit and experiment with this widget. You can create various beautiful looking custom registration login forms like the ones you are currently watching as I scroll. Also you can add social logins feature to make it easier for users to sign in. As well as if I'll click on lost password here, you can see this forgot password form which you will get to create and customize after adding this widget. If you want, you can even copy pre-made designs from here with just a click, making it super easy to get started and customize it according to your liking. So here we are back in the Elementor editor and now as visible in the header section, we don't have any login button here because now we are going to create it from scratch. Simply come to the widgets panel and search login. Here it is, WP login and register by the plus add-ons. Now drag it from here and drop it inside the header section like this. Now you will see many customization options have opened up here in the side panel. Let's check out form types. Here we'll go with login and register. And then we want it to be opened on a button click. So click on this layout option. Now I want to change this button's position. So open navigator and shift this widget below navigation menu. So simple, right? Now close the navigator, then come to the side panel and we will close this forms layout as well. After that, go to button and you will see two icons over here, which we don't want at the moment. So let's remove them like this. We will change the button text as well to say account. And as you can see, the text here is now changed. After that, let's close this option. And now we will do a little styling of this account login registration button. I'm fast forwarding this part of the video. If you want to follow my step by step process, you can slow down the playback speed by going into this video settings.
So that was it with styling. Next, we will come here in the content section and change the drop down alignment to right side. Now, when we will click this button, you can see our basic login forms design. After that, we will close the forms layout option. And now that we have customized the login forms design and layout, let's look into login options. Here it's written login tab title. Also, there are other sub options that are login button text and remember me. Through these options, you can basically hide or unhide these buttons as well as change their texts. Say for example, I want to put a little question mark in front of lost password. So simply come here and edit the text inside this text field. And now when I will open the form again, you can notice that the text is now edited. Also, if I'll click this toggle button in front of lost password, now the user will not get to see any lost password option here. So you're seeing how it works, right? Moving ahead, let's just close this drop down menu. The next option is definitely used very widely these days that is social login and register. This feature will make your user's login process extremely smooth as by enabling these Facebook and Google toggle button, they will be able to enter in their accounts with just a click. Now let's just close this and check out my account menu option. Now, remember I showed you the front end of the site when the user is logged in there, when we clicked on our account button, we got to see these two options, namely edit profile and logout. So through these toggle buttons, you can control their visibility as well. Also, if you want to add an extra menu item, click here on add item and you can give it any name, say for example, extra settings. Also below it, you have to put a link. So by clicking on this option, the user will get redirected to its page. Now, when we will close this option, you finally have a fully functional login form sitting in the header section, ready to go online with your WordPress site. So you saw how easy it was to add and customize a login form with the help of our widget. Now, if you want to master the art of creating a highly interactive login form, Dive into our comprehensive video tutorial where we have explored all the widget options, which will elevate your knowledge as well as the quality of your login form. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more such WordPress tutorials coming ahead. Until then, see you in the next one.